Welcome to the Average Me Channel. I'm Mark, and this is the Weekend Wrap-Up. Sometimes there are things I want to share with you, but it's just not enough for a complete video. So I'm going to talk about them here. And I want to start with my backyard. Now, I am really close to what you might consider to be the Everglades. Now, technically, all of Naples is in the Everglades, as are a lot of cities. But when most people think about the Everglades, you think about the wild, right? You think about the marshes and the forests and all that. And that's really close to my house. Uh, there's not too much between my house and Miami, except the wild Everglades. So as a result, weird things sometimes come traipsing through my yard. And every now and then, I will catch them on camera. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't have the greatest night vision. So some of the things I see, I'm not sure what they are. So let's take a look at this one. Now I had some ideas, but I just wasn't sure. First, I was kind of excited because I thought it was a Florida panther. But the more I looked at it, the tail is just a little too short and it doesn't have a cat-like walk to it. It has more of a trot, which made me think it's probably something more canine. So then I thought, maybe it's a fox. But the more I looked at it and I compared it to the size of my patio, that's a really big animal and a fox isn't that big. To me, I'm looking at that, I'm guessing it to be about four to four and a half feet and foxes just aren't that long and as tall as that. So my final decision, what I think it is anyways, it's probably a coyote. So take a look at it. What do you think? Do you think one of my guesses is correct? Or do you have another idea for what just passed through my yard? The next thing I want to talk about is a video I did last week, maybe a week and a half ago. And I reviewed a restaurant, The Mystic Lobster Roll on Marco Island. And I didn't think it was a terrible review, but my end analysis was uh, just based on the atmosphere. The sandwich was pretty good, but the atmosphere, I, I didn't think it was going to last. And boy, did that set off some fireworks for some people. So let me show you some of the comments I got. First, I got this one from Lloyd. Hello, I'm Lloyd, manager at Mystic Lobster Roll on Marco Island. My wife and I were sent this video by our regional PR team. We're disappointed that you had a less than desirable experience at our location. Those were certainly some strange and very unflattering pictures of our floor and bathroom door. I work at the location from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday through Sunday and would like to invite you down for another try. Also, perhaps we could conduct a short interview for your channel. Reach out at your convenience and mention your channel to myself or Paula, my wife. Now, I didn't think that was too bad. Lloyd was reaching out to me. He was concerned, maybe ready to give me a second shot and try to change my opinion. And then this comment appeared. First of all, I am the real manager at this location, and all of our local customers tell us every day how much they love our food. Secondly, we sell lobster rolls, not Subway sandwiches, so that's why the price reflects that. If you're looking to find a cheaper lobster roll on the island, please let us know where you can do so and not compare us to the brewery who does not sell the same products. Now I am really baffled. I have no idea who is in charge of this thing, but I can tell you this. If the second guy is in fact the manager, I think maybe he should hire Lloyd because he came off so defensive and so angry. I don't know what he's really upset about, but he did lay down a challenge. He asked if I could find a cheaper lobster roll on the island. So I did a little searching. Now, I admit, I don't know every menu item at every restaurant in all of Marco Island, but I did find the Isle Gypsy on the Isle of Capri has a lobster roll sandwich for just about the same price. Okay, it's a penny more. I'd say that matches the cost of the lobster roll at the Mystic Lobster Roll. But here's the difference. The Mystic Lobster Roll serves its lobster roll here. And the Island Gypsy serves its lobster roll here. Now I think 
for the same price, would you rather eat your lobster roll at a place that I unfavorably compared to a subway? Or would you rather eat your lobster roll at a place where they have sit down service, a wait person comes and takes your order, brings you your food, and you're looking out over the water? I know what my choice would be. Then I found one with a matching price at the speakeasy. Now, admittedly, the speakeasy is not one of my favorite restaurants on Marco Island. But again, you're getting sit down service. You're being waited on by a staff member. And if you choose, there is waterside dining. So yes, I compared it to a subway and he says, well, we have more expensive prices because we're not a subway. That was my whole point. You're not a subway, but it kind of looks like you are. Now I did get another comment where someone accused me of slander. Now I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think that giving your opinion in a restaurant review is slanderous. I said I'd be surprised if they were going to be open a year from now. And I also said, you know, time will tell, we'll see. And apparently that's a slanderous remark, but then I noticed something. These two comments were posted by people with the same last name. So I don't know. I'm not a private investigator. I'm not a detective. I'm not even interested. I don't really care. I'm going to move on to new videos, but I thought this was interesting and I thought I'd share it with you. So that's the weekend wrap up for this week. I don't know if I'm going to make this a regular thing. Maybe when I have a few items that just aren't enough for a video, you'll see me come back with a weekend wrap up. Time will tell. But I want to thank you for joining me. Leave your comments down below. What do you think that animal was? And which of those comments on the restaurant do you feel were correct, if any? Let me know. In the meantime, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you back here next time on the Average Me channel.